So our problem says find an equation for the tangent line of f at the given point. Use a graphing utility to graph the function and its tangent line at the given point. Then use the derivative feature of the utility to confirm your results. So I guess three things going on here. First thing we're going to do is take the first derivative. Yes. And we're going to use the product rule. So I'm going to make a list over here if that's okay. So here's our list. I'm going to break this out. I'm going to call this f of x, of course, and call this g of x. So our list is that, that f of x f of x is equal to x cubed minus 3x is that right in the book? Is that right in the book? Okay, good. And what's the first derivative of this f, f function? Good job. 3x squared minus, sorry, yeah, good job, minus 3. <coughs> and here's g of x. g of x is equal to x plus 1. So what's the first derivative of that? Yeah, it's just 1. It's a nice gift, isn't it? And then remember the product rule. You don't need to write this on your exams, but the, the product rule is, isn't it, the that ddx of f of x times g of x is given by, so that's not true, f of x times g prime at x, isn't that right? Plus g of x f prime at x, right? <coughs> so I'm going to start plugging in these pieces. So f of x is this mess over here. So it's going to be x cubed minus 3x plus 1. That's the f of x. There's f of x. g prime at x is equal to 1. So this one is this one. This plus sign here is this plus sign right here. g of x is x plus 2 times f prime at x. f prime at x is given by this. So it's 3 x squared minus 3. When we distribute this 1 and nothing changes, so we're just going to keep simplifying and get x cubed minus 3x plus 1. I'm going to do this bit of FOIL right here. So we have this is plus 3x cubed minus 3x plus 6x squared minus 6. Is all that math good so far? Yeah? Good. Then what? Then what, Zach? We can't plug anything in yet because there's some simplification to be done here, isn't there? Like here's an x cubed and here's 3x cubes. Yeah? So I'm going to add these and we'll get 4x cubes, isn't that right? We have 6x squared, no other x squared, so here's our plus 6x squared. Negative 3x squared here, negative 3x squared here is negative 6x. Yeah, I said 6x squared, they're not 6x squared, sorry. So negative 6x. Here's negative 6 and positive 1 is negative 5, isn't it? So finally we have the derivative of our function, which is f prime at x is equal to this mess. So there's our derivative. Now what? Right, remember, we're looking at, right, good job. We're looking at this. And this one, we want to know what's the slope here. So what's m here? What's the slope here? The slope there is f prime at 1. So f prime at, that's terrible. f prime at 1 is equal to what? This is what I did, James. I 1 cubed, 1 squared. So we got right, 4 plus 6, minus 6, right? Minus 6, minus 5. Is all that math good? So I think that f prime at 1, f prime at 1 is equal to what? Yeah, I think it is negative 1, isn't it? So there's negative 1. There's that slope. This slope, right? We are looking for the slope here. So here's that slope. And now let's find the line tangent. To find the line tangent, 
going to take all the information that we have and kind of use it here. So remember that we, when we're looking for a line, we're going to use this point slope form m times x minus x sub 1, if you remember that from algebra 1. And what's the value of m? The value of m, what's the slope here? It's negative 1, isn't it? This negative 1, because we took f of 1, right? Right, and the x value was 1, so we take this x sub 1 out, we put in 1, don't we? We take this y sub 1 out and put in what? You put in that negative 3, good. Some quick algebra, this turns into y plus 3 equals, I'm going to distribute this, so negative x, right? Plus 1, is that right? Negative times the negative plus 1, so plus 1. Add negative 3 to both sides, negative 3 to both sides. And I believe the line tangent is the line y equals negative x, whoops, negative x minus 2. This is the line tangent to our curve at the point 1, negative 3. Yes? How would we, how would we prove this? Yeah, I'm going to go graph it, so let's pop out here and graph that here. Let's go to this document up here. So you have your CAS calculator on, I hope. We're going to insert graphs. You're going to have to help me a little bit. The, the first function was, what was it? What was the first function? Yeah, thank you is x cubed minus 3x plus 1 minus 3x plus 1 close the parentheses times x plus 2 isn't that right x plus 2 is that all good And there's that function. The function is quartic, so I expect it to look something like that, didn't you? Here is x is 1, isn't it? Right, so there should be a line tangent somewhere in here. And that line tangent is hopefully given by this function. And that function was negative x minus 2, is that right? So negative x minus 2. And here's where our function is at 1. Our function is down here, isn't it? I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you see this better now? So there's that. So I think we have the line. We've proven that we have the line tangent here. Now, if you don't mind, go back to your calculator again, and let's just try this. Let's try this. Go to calculator. Let's just test the derivative, okay? So again, go to your pull-down screen. Calculus, derivative. This is a function of x, so it's ddx of, we have to put this whole mess in, which was x cubed minus 3x plus 1 plus 1 times x plus 2. And isn't that the derivative that we got right here? Yes? So there's the proof of our derivative. 